everybody, this is your reading for Thursday the 23rd of March. Thanks for joining me. I'm still using the Manga Tarot, so let's have a look at what's coming up today. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and then we have the World. The Two of Wands is a doorway, it's a gate. It's about moving forward into a new chapter in your life and having a lot of control over that. And really um, holding the world in your hand, so to speak, and saying, this is my decision, this is what I want to do, this is the way I want the world to be, and that's the direction I'm moving in. So it's very much about being able to control what's going on making choices for yourself and being independent. The next card that we have is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is extreme in a sense in that he only sees the emotional inner world as the reality of what is. So his feelings are everything. If he feels something positive, then life and the universe is positive. If he feels something negative, then everything is negative. So there's no kind of middle ground here. There's no comfort and ease with the Knight of Cups. He's completely governed and ruled by his emotions. And combined with the Two of Wands, it says that you're very likely to make a decision here based on your feelings. And if you only decide on um, urgent feelings, then you're going to be going from one self-induced crisis to another self-induced crisis because your feelings will always change. You know, they're like the winds. Sometimes they're blowing from the west, sometimes from the east. You can't base your life exclusively on your feelings that come up and that kind of come from the ego in the sense that they feel urgent and you have to do something about them now. And if you make long-term decisions, then it's, it's kind of this never-ending story of constantly having to make changes and never being satisfied. The answer on this day is not to listen to your kind of surface level, mind level emotions, which are extreme and urgent and which force you to kind of walk through all these different doorways. But what the message is, is to instead get in touch with the reality, your true feelings, the feelings of your higher self, which are always there and not to take action and to get the information. So there's, it's unclear on this day and one of the things you're going to have to contend with on this day is whether the things that you're feeling are really genuine and truthful higher self guidance and emotions or they are just ego messages that urge you and force you to make never ending changes to your life in this futile search for happiness. And that's that's difficult to discern. Okay, so it's much better to involve your guides, your angels, to meditate, to uh, connect with your higher self, to ask for help from God, the universe, the creator, and to really say, I need to have the wisdom to differentiate between what is ego and what is true guidance and what is a true message here on this day. That in itself can be challenging. So I would avoid making huge decisions on this day. I would focus on hammering out the actual emotional details here and getting to a place of certainty before I leave the country or buy the house or do whatever it is that I feel is so important. So I think that's what you ought to be focusing on today is really just discerning and making a choice between what's ego and what is real um, and not rushing into anything and um, leaving things until you have much more clarity and certainty, which I don't think is, is 
there in abundance for you on this day. Number wise, we've got 2 and 1 is 3. 3 and 21 is 24. 2 and 4 is 6. And 6 is an opportunity, a temporary opportunity. And you have the opportunity to really get to the core of your higher self and to really get the true message by doing all of this searching. So it's a day of passivity in the sense of going inwards and getting the information and the answers rather than just saying, okay, I know the answer, I'm going out in the world and I'm doing stuff. So it's inward rather than outward. And that's the way to succeed on this day and to really get some answers and messages that you may not have had access to in the past. So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading with me. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.